a special situation. I already drew the rectangle of the wall that is on the back. The same situation, I'm in a corridor. The question is, where do I put now the horizon? And what has it to do with my position of the perceiver of this perspective? So what we told, uh, what I told you is that the eye level is the horizon. So when you're small, your horizon would be here. If you're taller, your horizon would be somewhat here. And now the special situation is that if you stand to the left of the corridor, then your vanishing point is on the left. If you stand on the right of the, vanish, uh, of the corridor, your eye level is on the right. So when I want to draw uh, the perspective of a small person or even a mouse that sits on the left core on the on the left side and looks among the corridor, I can draw it like this. I decide since it's a mouse, the eye level is extremely low, and the horizon is always always horizontal is here. So this is the horizon. Uh, now, what does it mean for all the lines? What does the perspective for a mouse look like? Uh, it's the same concept. Here is the vanishing point here. And it goes over the edge to the corner. The same is here, over the edge to the corner over the edge to the corner more precise Oop. and over the edge from the vanishing point over the edge here 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 from the vanishing point over the edge to the corner now it's a little bit more difficult to understand so now we have a situation where this is the floor this part the drawing is the floor this is how the perspective looks like for a mouse